Here's something you could think about. How do they convince us to social distance? Mask up, stay at home, stop going to church, not have funerals, hug our grandparents through plastic, forfeit incomes and personal businesses, and basically have us on the verge of a civil war with each other just to turn around and say that most of it is nixed and completely negated if we want to protest, loot businesses, riot, deface national monuments, destroy our cities, defund and disband the police, and basically set everything on fire, all while we are at tremendous risk for a deadly virus that can be diagnosed without official testing, and that testing is counted and reported dishonestly and reported on death certificates even if you die by falling off a cliff, and things that do keep us healthy are now supposedly dangerous, like gyms, health food stores, health facilities, outdoor parks and activities, they're all taken away from us. But fast food chains, liquor stores, and Walmarts, they're all deemed essential, right? I want you to think. Think really hard and really start to open your eyes because it is right in front of you. You, are you, coming to the train, led by a man who wants to break the chains. Establishment is terrified they can't control his reign. So if it's safe to protest as long as you're wearing a mask, then you can go vote. If you can burn your city to the ground, as long as you're wearing a mask, then you can go vote. If you can wear a mask while getting your grande iced, sugar-free vanilla soy latte, then you can go vote in person. Do not, and I repeat, do not let the left tell you otherwise. Go vote in November.